The last thing you'll be asked to do on your audition is to sight read. The sight reading is worth 250 points, which is more than any other individual component of your audition. So I think it would be very smart to practice your sight reading. It's not something that a lot of people do. So if you do it, then you're gonna be at a bit of an advantage. The key to sight reading is to learn how to continue even though you might make a mistake here and there. So in other words, don't stop. As musicians, we're in the habit of stopping and fixing mistakes, which is certainly a, a reasonable thing to do. But when you're sight reading, it's imperative that you just keep going. Even if you make a mistake, just let it go and keep your momentum, keep your focus on what comes next. As I said, if you practice sight reading, you might have a bit of an advantage because I don't think a lot of people do this. You need to find things that you've never seen before and make yourself play them. When you do, put the metronome on and hold yourself accountable to continue no matter what. Even if you make a mistake, keep going. Clearly, the better you know your scales and patterns of all kinds, the better sight reader you are. Learn scales in every single key and patterns in every single key so that you are less likely to find something that you've never seen before, even though it may be in a different context when you see the sight reading. One last note about the sight reading, especially at the state level, sometimes the sight reading will contain tenor clef. If you've never played tenor clef before, you need to familiarize yourself with a little bit of tenor clef so that at least you can give it a good, a good try if and when you're presented with that, even if you've never you know, practiced it too much before. So be aware of that possibility. Good luck on your audition.